Hey, welcome back to Jazz Time. Jazztime.com is an online store that buys, sells, and trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so you can easily choose the best watch for yourself in the comfort of your own home. We offer the lowest prices anywhere online, and if you'd like to know the price, simply click on the links in the description below. We're greatly appreciated if you purchase your next watch from us at jazztime.com. Today we'll be talking about the Patek Philippe Annual Calendar Moon Phase. This one, the reference number 4947-1A-001. This one is the new 2021 model in this line, the most recent and very likely to be the very last iteration of the men's version. Ladies' versions have the mother of pearl and diamonds on their dials. They rarely ever release steel iterations of any watch in their catalog, including, you know, especially within the complications section. And, you know, so that very much could mean that this may be the very last, if not one of the last models within the annual calendar lineup in this size, and especially with this color, makes it quite special. We'll be talking about all about this, the case, the dial, the crown functions, as well as the bracelet and the movement. I'll be giving you my thoughts on all of this throughout the video. So now taking a look at this case, we have a 38 millimeter diameter case. That's the two o'clock to the eight o'clock position or the 10 to four, same distance, 38 millimeters. That's what the, that's sort of what's considered on the higher end of the mid size. And it does actually wear a little bit large or actually smaller than 38, as you'll see a little bit later. You have a fully smooth, high polish case on the front sides and even on the back. You also have the exhibition case back so you can see the movement in all of its glory. All right. And a glare proof sapphire crystal on the back, a domed sapphire crystal on the front, giving it a very nice sturdy construction so that it, you know, you, it prevents uh, scratches and anything from obstructing the view and damaging the watch, especially this very nice dial. Now taking a look at this dial here, it's what's known as a Shantung pattern. It's sort of like a silk weave from a province in China uh, that, you know, they basically take this blue weave and take the perfect size at 38 millimeters, put it in steel, making this their first annual calendar that can actually be worn every day, especially with this color. Who can say no to blue? Probably no one actually. And even the market agrees that, you know, even this is such a big hit that it actually sells at a market price currently as of the making of this video, let's see, $56,000. It's, uh, retail actually is under 48,000. And so, you know, the market does generally agree that this is such a big hit, especially with this dial color. You have uh, 18 karat white gold uh, Arabic numerals actually for this watch. A very nicely curved script type of font for those numbers. Gives it a very elegant and overall just very classy look. A nice track on the perimeter of the watch for the minutes and seconds for ease of reading. And also you have these sub dials, the uh, date aperture at the six o'clock and the sub dials showing the days of the week, the months of the year and the phase of the moon. So you have a lot going on here. It has a ton of things on it, but it doesn't uh, detract from the overall elegance of it, especially with this sort of pattern. You're not gonna see this pattern on any other Patek Philippe watch or any other watch ever really because I've never seen a single dial that has this sort of pattern on it. Very, very finely uh, created. I don't know if my camera is even picking this up, but I'm looking at it with my own eyes. It's much better than uh, what I'm seeing on my monitor here. So take it from me, it looks amazing. Now, taking a look at the crown functions here, rather simple, it's the, it takes the, the base movement, the 324, that's you know prevalent in basically the entire Patek Philippe catalog. So basically at the base position for this crown, you can simply wind the watch. About 20 to 30 full winds all you need from a dead stop to get it to the full power reserve. Rather simple there. You also have, uh, well, what would be or could be a potential, you know, uh, date uh, changing function, but you don't have that on this watch. So you only have the, when you pull out the crown, you only have the movement of that minute hand. 
And as a little side note, there is no hacking seconds. So as you can see, I can move the minute hand around and the seconds hand just keeps on going. But if you place just a tiny bit of pressure backwards on that minute hand, it will actually push that seconds hand a little bit backward or even stop it depending on the amount of pressure that you place. So you can actually use it as a sort of manual version of a hacking seconds function, giving you that full control of setting the time if you wanna do so precisely. All right, be sure to press that crown back in to the home position to uh, ensure, I believe it's a 30 meter water resistance. Yes, 30 meters of water resistance. So I wouldn't take this further than surface swimmable. Definitely you can wash your hands with it, but don't go deep sea diving with it. Otherwise, well, you're not really gonna have a nice watch that's functioning very well after that. All right, so what makes all of this work on the inside? Well. It's the 324S QALU. That's the name of the movement. It's a 30 millimeter diameter movement, 5.32 millimeters in thickness, 328 total parts with 10 bridges, 34 joules, and a power reserve between 35 and 45 hours. So that basically means it will last between about one and a half to two days without wearing on the wrist. If you just set this down over the weekend, you'll be able to pick it up on Monday morning. You may have to wind it, but it'll be keeping track of time for at least two days or so. All right, it has a 21 karat gold winding rotor, unidirectionally winding. As you can see, it only really, well, it's hard to actually see how the winding works, but it is unidirectional. It has a Gyromax and uh, Gyromax balance, a Spiromax balance spring, meaning that it'll take plenty of shocks it, uh, you'll be just fine if you take a few bumps here and there. You can get relatively close to magnetized surfaces. No need to worry about the magnetism of this watch. It'll be just fine. You also have the Patek Philippe seal on that uh, winding rotor so that you know that you are dealing with. Well, obviously a Patek Philippe. Well, you, you can't really get to this point without actually knowing that already. All right. It also has a vibrations per hour frequency or rating of 28,800 vibrations per hour or four hertz, meaning that you do get that uh, added benefit of extremely highly accurate timekeeping here. So all good from Patek Philippe and you wouldn't, you certainly wouldn't expect anything less from them. All right. Now when it comes to additional functions and quick setting the rest of these uh, features on the dial, there are pushers for that. I'll have a separate video just uh, on how to set the, or actually quick set the day of the week, the month, the moon phase, and the date. Uh, it's a little bit of a complicated process, so I'll, I'll have a separate video just for that. Subscribe down below, hit the bell notification to see it when it goes live. Not too long after this video, actually. All right, now taking a look at the bracelet here, you have what is basically a an extreme rarity in Patek Philippe's entire catalog. This is a steel bracelet. This is the only watch in the complications section of uh, Patek Philippe's catalog anywhere currently that actually has a bracelet. There's actually one more. It's a fully skeletonized $150,000 watch, fully uh, rose gold. This is the only steel bracelet watch, the only one really that matters. Five piece links across, giving it, you know, extra uh, breathability and extra, you know, just overall gleam and glamour, taking a look at it. And it feels very good on the wrist as well. High polish on every single surface, nicely rounded too, complete with my fingerprints, of course, as you can see. And certainly it feels very nice on the wrist. Now, the benefit of this watch actually being on a bracelet, is that's actually easily washable, won't stain, it's breathable, preventing excessive perspiration and you know all the other models within Patek Philippe's catalog I'm not talking about complication section I mean the entire catalog those are marketed toward the traditional meaning that they you know come on leather or calfskin straps or even rubber straps which you know to put it nicely patina rather quickly over time such that they actually need replacement every year or so due to you know the excessive perspiration from the lack of breathability the advantage here for this bracelet is that it actually doesn't need to be replaced anywhere near as frequently. At most, you'll only really need a polish every so often. And with so many links like this, you know, scratches actually do not show up easily or at all. So, you know, while the general demographic, you know, for this watch 
is generally for men. This is likely marketed as unisex, so anyone can wear this. And certainly with the uh, sort of the pin sizing system here, you can size this to any wrist, smaller, you know, anywhere downwards of, you know, seven inches or so in circumference. More on that in a second. Now, taking a look at how this works, you have the Patek Philippe seal on this double deployment clasp. Press both sides to open it. You have the Patek Philippe logo on the inside, nicely sandblasted. Very, very tiny in there. And having this newer push button system actually gives it an added sense of uh, security when you have it nicely closed on your wrist. Now, speaking of which, I'll try it on, give you my thoughts as to how it wears on the wrist. Now, keep in mind that I did mention that this watch is generally marketed as being unisex. And certainly, with my wrist being a 7-inch wrist, or you know, 18 centimeters in circumference, uh, it actually fits me rather well. It looks, it says it's a 38, but it fits like a 36. This is certainly a mid-size watch. Generally, anyone can wear this. If you're about, eh, let's say 170 pounds or five foot 10 and lower, take the average of that and go downward. You can wear this watch very easily. It won't look, you know, strangely large on the wrist. And speaking of which, the stance on the wrist, very comfortable. It feels good on my wrist, fits me perfectly. If you have a smaller wrist, no problem. The integrated bracelet will certainly size to your wrist very nicely. And the added breathability of all of these extra links on here makes it very nice, very comfortable to wear. I, I don't feel myself sweating in this anytime soon. And certainly with that overall feel of it on the wrist, just feels very good. All right, so who is this watch for? Well, the annual calendar, the 5146G was the previous version, and this is basically what supersedes it. Uh, and when a model is sort of on its way out, they actually save the best for last. That's sort of the pattern that's been going on with Patek Philippe's uh, overall catalog. So for example, uh, the 5711 Nautilus is kind of on its way out, and so they put out their best version for, for last, Blue Dial, for example, and this one, certainly not an exception there. They realize that there's a market for, you know, 40 millimeter and smaller watches, this one being a midsize. Midsize watches appeal to a much broader audience, both men and women, anywhere in between. This is certainly the in-between size that just fits anybody. And, you know, this watch perfectly captures the midsize market using that. Having the one defining watch for each size is definitely important for Patek Philippe. This one, certainly no exception to that. This model is a, def a definitive model at 38 millimeters and highly recommended for anyone, again, with a seven inch or smaller wrist. For, in other words, if you're five foot 10, 170 pounds or lower from there. All right, so that's about it. That's all I've got for you. Maybe you can leave some recommendations down in the comments. What would you wear this with? I would say, you know, simply, you know, as this is a stainless steel watch, highly uh, rare from Patek Philippe, they don't put out stainless steel watches, especially in their complications section. Again, this is the only stainless steel watch. Uh, the only other one actually being the triple calendar. You can see the review for that one on our page as well here. And this just two watches in the stainless steel category. This is the only one with a bracelet. And so, you know, that means that they're making this one, gearing this one up to be a hit and it certainly is selling above retail price at market value but you can get it at the lowest price possible anywhere on our website at jazztime.com links in the description below to see it you can uh you can see pictures of it you can see this video there as well and get the price as well click the link down below to secure yours today be sure to hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we get when we go live with another video like this one and as always please purchase this one at jazztime.com for the lowest possible price anywhere online we'll see you in the next one take care if you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up.
If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in Jazz Time, plus the brand, model, and the details you're interested in, and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.